In this video, we're going to review factoring trinomials. A trinomial is a polynomial with one, two, three pieces. And one of the things you learned in algebra was how to factor them, how to rewrite this as the product, a multiplication problem, of two binomials. There's many different ways to do this, but what I found is that most students in high school learn to do this by trial and error. So that's why I'm going to review it that way with you in this video. What you do is you put down two parentheses, and you look at the first term and ask yourself, how could I split that up? How could I write that as a multiplication? In this one, we're lucky. The only way you can split up x squared is by putting an x and an x. And then you ask yourself, how could I factor 12? What are two numbers to multiply together and give me 12? You might think 2 and 6. But remember, we have a target. We want our target to be the answer that we started with, x squared minus x minus 12. So once we guess 2 and 6, what we should do is we should check whether the outside and the inside terms would have any way of joining together and giving us 1x, negative 1x for a middle term. If I have 2x and 6x, there's absolutely no way to turn those into a negative 1x. And so I have to dump 2 and 6 as a start, but not a perfect choice. Then I say, well, what else could give me 12? And maybe we think of 3 and 4. Well, 3 and 4 have possibilities, because here, my outside ones give me 4x, and my inside ones give me 3x. I could take a 4x and 3x, and by messing with the signs, make them produce a negative 1. If I make the 4 negative and the 3 positive, so I have negative 4x, and positive 3x, if I were to combine those, I would get the negative 1x I need in the middle. And then just to check that that didn't mess up our last term, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. So we just factored x squared minus x minus 12. Sometimes they get a little bit harder. So for example, what if I wanted to factor 2x squared plus 15x plus 18? The reason this one gets a little bit harder is because when I put down my two parentheses and I ask myself, how could I break up 2x squared? There's only one way to break that up, 2x and x. But now there's lots of different ways you can break up 18, and the order's going to matter. So for example, you might think, well, maybe 9 and 2. If you check the outside, and the inside, the outside give you 4x, the inside give you 9x, 4 and 9, there's no way to make that into a 15. But before you toss out 9 and 2, because these here are not both x's, one is a 2x and one is an x, you have to stop and ask yourself, what if I were to switch them around? What if I were to put a 2 here and a 9 here? You have to ask yourself, will that help? Well, let's check. 18 and 2. There's no way to make 18 and 2 into 15, so switching it around didn't help. Now we're sure 9 and 2 aren't going to help us. Now we have to think, OK, well, what else can give us 18? Well, maybe we think of 6 and 3. If we think of 6 and 3, when we check the outside ones, we get 6x. When we check the inside ones, we get 6x. There's no way to take 6x and 6x and, by changing the signs, make it into a 15. But before you toss out 6 and 3, you have to remember, switch them around. Because maybe th this position will work. Let's try that. The outside ones gives us 12. The inside ones give us 3. Sure enough, 12 and 3 will make 15. Let's make them both positive and make sure that, that works. So here we have a 12x and a 3x, which is 15x. And then if we check at the end, positive 3 times positive 6 is 18. And so that's factoring. So again, with factoring, you write down two parentheses. You break up the first one. And then you break up the second one. Sometimes you have to switch them around. Sometimes you have to play with the signs. So here, why don't you see if you can factor these two. See if you can factor x squared minus 2x minus 24, and then see if you can factor two x squared 
plus 7x minus 4. Okay, press pause and give that a try. Okay, hopefully you pressed pause and gave that a try, so let's check your answer. We're going to put two parentheses here. And x squared is really easy. The only way to break that up is x and x. And here we're going to try to break up 24. Hopefully you eventually came on 6 and 4, because if we check the outside ones, 6x, and the inside ones, 4x, we can make those definitely into a negative 2. How? If we have the 6 negative and the 4 positive, we'll have negative 6x and positive 4x. That's negative 2x. And let's just check 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. So that works out great, and that's how that one factored. Some of you might say, does the order matter? The order doesn't matter. You could have this answer, or you could have x minus 6, x plus 4. <laughs> so you can have the factors in a different order, and that's still OK. Let's try this next one here. <coughs> this one, again, is slightly harder because it's not just x and x. Here we have a 2x and an x. So we'll have to be careful about switching orders, switching signs. So how could we get a 4? Um, let's try a 4 and 1. If we check the outside and the inside, 8x and 1x, oh yeah, 8 and 1, I can make a 7. I can make it 7 if the 8x is positive and if the 1x is negative. Positive 8x, negative 1x, that's 7x. And let's just check our last one. Negative 1 and 4, negative 4. And so that's how that one factors. And again, you might have this factor first and this factor second, and those answers would both be fine. And that's factoring trinomials. <laughs>